Carhaix Castle Gardens open on Monday the 14th of February. Today, in fact. And I just wanted to give you a, a quick glimpse of some of the magnolias that are already out. We've had a mild winter up to now and the magnolias are rushing on. So please don't delay uh, in coming to Cahays to see the first magnolias in all their glory. I'm standing beneath a Magnolia Camberlai seedling, which is about 50 foot high. And although it's quite a windy day today and the flowers are bouncing around a bit in the wind, uh, every single twig has got an enormous pink flower at the end of it. It's quite a spectacle and an exciting thing to see if you've never seen a tree magnolia in full flower before. The colour range of the magnolias already out is quite considerable. This is Magnolia F.J. Williams, which is a very much darker cerise purple than the Magnolia Campbelli we were looking at earlier. This one's just coming out. The first three flowers are showing. Give it another few days and it'll be as good a picture as the Campbelli we looked at a minute ago. Earlier into flower than usual is Magnolia mollicomata lanath. As some of you may know, lanath is a house and garden down on the lizard, and this is where this wonderful magnolia with a very specific and ident easily identifiable flower shape was first grown when it was collected in China in about the 1930s. It's an exquisite colour and really something very special in the world of magnolias. So here's an unusual combination, rhododendron Christmas cheer, which should have been out uh, at least six weeks ago and, and clearly wasn't, with uh, a magnolia sprengeri seedling, which has suddenly popped into flower in the last couple of days. What a, what a picture, what a colour combination, fantastic. So here we've got a white magnolia which is yellow as the flower comes out. It's a form of magnolia Campbelli, which was wild collected in China and is much sought after because it has this strange yellow hue on its uh, buds and it's called Magnolia Cal Campbelli Valentine's Torch. I'm afraid that with a dark sky like we've got today rather than a blue sky, it's quite difficult to make out the flowers in all their glory, but at least you will hopefully get some idea of this wonderful white magnolia, which is now about 25 feet and was planted only in 2007. It's been flowering away for the last five years and this is easily the best show it's put on yet. Mid-February, wonderful. By no means all the magnolias are out yet, but there's plenty to see. The best time for magnolias would normally be mid to late March, but unless we get some cold weather, they're coming on quickly and probably they may hit their peak as we look at it today, around about the 10th of March. Time will tell, as they say in gardening.